ever since I made that video exploring courses in Circle, and towards the end of the video, I don't know if you could pick it up, I'll, I'll link it by the way, up here so you can watch it, but I don't know if you picked up on the fact that I was really impressed with the paywalls feature and just a lot of the things that I saw in Circle. And so I've been going all in and I'm in the process of migrating all of my courses into my community right now. And you can see here I have several uh, that have already been brought over. And one of the thoughts that I had uh, while making that video was, this is all really phenomenal, it's really streamlined, really easy, but there's a couple of things I'd really love to see get added. Well, one of those things is quizzes and quizzes are now available. So I wanted to record this as like an update and an addition to uh, that video. So let's just jump into one of my courses here. This is my high level mastery course and I'm going to add a quiz. I'm just gonna do it for like a demo here. Now quizzes are like lessons. So you'll create a quiz rather than creating a lesson. So this button here, this add new used to be add new lesson. And now when you click on it, you can see you can choose to add a new lesson or a quiz. If I select the quiz option, just like with lessons, you give it a name, we'll call this our test quiz. And then we can click on the edit button here. And that brings us into our lesson interface. This is very, very similar. This is very similar to the normal lesson interface, except for a couple of differences. On the left hand side, we have a settings section where we can decide whether we want to enable comments on the quiz, set a passing grade for the quiz or not. And you can choose to turn it off or leave it on. And if you leave it on, you can choose whether or not you want to enforce people to pass, in this case, to get 70% of the questions right, in order to proceed to the next lesson in the course. And you can also choose to hide the answers on the result page if you want to. So that's it for the settings on the quiz. Everything else is pretty normal. You can set the default tab, which is what appears on the right hand side. We'll take a look at that together in a second. You can go to files, you can add downloads and things like that. Uh, to your quiz lesson, so to speak. Uh, but then to build the actual quiz, we just do it right here in the center. We can add a question. And right now there are two question types, a single answer or multi-answer. And the only difference there between these two is you can check multiple answers to be a correct option for a multiple answer or a single answer is just a radio option. You choose one answer that's correct. So for this question, how much does high level cost? We could choose multiple answers and we could say, there are questions. You can also add an image uh, to the quiz itself. You can upload an image. Uh, they recommend 1468 by 536. So let's take a look at how that image plays out in the quiz, what it looks like. If you click upload, you get the same upload options that you get throughout your circle community. You can choose to embed, uh, embed a linked image, go to Unsplash for like a stock photo or upload your own. We'll go ahead and upload our own and I'm going to choose one that is not the recommended size. I'll choose like a random thumbnail from a video of mine and then we'll choose one that is the correct size to see the difference. All right, so this kind of worked out nicely. I had an old featured image. So you can see what happens if you upload something that doesn't fit the recommended, it's more like required aspect ratio. Uh, you'll have to adjust your image to fit within the, the boundaries there. So uh, that would not be a good choice. Uh, but let's just go ahead and save it. It's gonna crop it and that's what it's going to look like. And you'll see now on the front end what our question will look like. I'll click add question here. And then I can proceed to add more. So I could add a second question, a third question and so on. And then at the top, I can add a description. This is somewhat similar to what you would normally be able to put inside of a circle lesson, except if you're familiar with circle, you know that you can normally put like a, a slash and then start typing and you can access kind of their markup. Uh, like if I wanted to put a video, I'd put slash and then start writing. Uh, this is not available inside of the quiz description. This is truly just a description where they just want you to put uh, basically words, right? And even if you select the words, you can't even stylize them. So it's very, very basic on the description. Let's go ahead and save that though, and then do a view on it so we can take a look at what it looks like on the front end. So it's basically the same course interface. You have the tabs on the right hand side. You'll remember I mentioned we would take a look at that. We left it as curriculum, so it's showing all the lessons in my high level course. Uh, you can then swap between whether you want to bookmark the lesson or hide or show the sidebar, that type of thing, or swap over to comments if you've enabled them on this particular quiz lesson. All right, so let's take the quiz here. Uh, let's choose the wrong answer to see what happens. I'll hit submit. Uh, it says you failed the quiz, try again. We can click retake the quiz, brings us right back. We can choose just one of the correct options and hit submit. And you can see that was also incorrect. So on that multi-choice, it's not choose one of the correct options, you do have to get both of them. So in our case, we chose both of those as correct. And now we passed the quiz. You can see it down below, correct, our score. And again, we can still retake the quiz if we wish, and then mark the lesson as completed. 
So I went ahead and I added a second question so we can see what that looks like on our screen here. We have our first question with an image, our second question with an image, and you get to see all of them here on your screen when you scroll down. A little bit of feedback for me would be that I wish it were one question per screen and I wish you could like swap between the screens as you answered your questions, cycle them through and have it not change anything else on the page. That's something that I wish uh, would be refined, a little bit more polished than having this uh, inner scroll container. Um, maybe they'll change it in the future. Circle is doing a really good job at updating the interface and adapting things to be more user-friendly, including the mobile app, which I use every single day for my community, accessing your courses and letting your students and members access the courses and material, and now quizzes on a mobile app really, really works nicely. Now, if you want to see the results that a student got in the quiz, uh, you simply go right into your course dashboard where you see uh, who's taken the course and, and their progress on it, and then you just click the little tab for quiz results. I took this on a little demo account. You can see uh, when I took it, how many attempts it took to complete it, the score that I got checks all the boxes for me in terms of simplicity on the reporting side. I think that I'd like to see different types of questions added. That's something they could obviously add later. And I'm a big fan of refining the initial release before you start to toss in more and more features and scope creep happens. They could easily add another question type, like a free response, letting somebody type in. I think that would be super helpful, particularly particularly for courses uh, for you to ask for feedback on particular modules or or a course in general I'll put like a quiz at the very end where people can uh, fill in information maybe even use it to get testimonials i think that would also be super helpful so i think just in general an expansion of the the question types would be the first easy win for them and what would be also really neat is a built-in way for if maybe it's a workflow in circle if, if somebody gets a certain uh, percentage right or passes the quiz have the workflow, which is like a automation built into circle. I'll probably do a video on that later, uh, but have that maybe give them access to different parts of the community. So almost like a, an incentivized quiz passing or an incentive to pass the quiz inside the course or give a response or feedback. Uh, so I could see this having a lot of use inside of a course driven community. So that's it. That's the little update that I wanted to record on quizzes for courses. If you hadn't had a chance to check out the, the video that I did all about courses inside of Circle, definitely check that out. I'll link it down below as well as up here for you to click on.